In this tutorial, we're going to download the Windows version of the MAMP software, MAMP distribution for running PHP and MySQL. So I've gone to the MAMP website and gone to the download section. The download section will automatically sense whether you're on a Windows or a Mac machine. So I'm automatically on a Windows machine and it's giving me the Windows option to download. So I'm going to click download and save the file. Just note that MAMP Free and MAMP Pro come bundled together in the one install and really they're the same unit. If you go into MAMP you can unlock some of the Pro features but it's the actual same application so it's the one download. My download for Windows was 330 megs. I'm going to go to my download folder and I'm going to click open file and we get the usual run and I'll go through all of the different options here. So it's been downloaded and installed by default in a MAMP folder in the root of my C drive. And that will install. That took a minute or two to install and so I'll finish. I've now got a MAMP icon on my desktop or in my start menu. I'm just going to click on the free MAMP version which is just called MAMP as opposed to MAMP Pro. So click on MAMP. This brings up the uh, start dialog box. I want to start the servers. What I would like to see here is that both checkboxes are checked green. So Apache server, which is the web server, and the MySQL server as well. If you just want to run PHP, as long as the Apache server is lit green, that would mean that it will work. In terms of preferences, it would be interesting to go in here and have a look at the different ports. So I've clicked on preferences, I've got a ports tab here, and the default is port 80 for a Windows machine. That means when I go to my address bar when I'm trying to find a PHP file, I will just be able to type in localhost and nothing else. Another test to see that it's running is just to click on open start page. This will give you a diagnostics page of all of the relevant items that are running in MAMP at the moment. And this is my start page. I can see local host of MAMP, so this is running on my own MAMP server at the moment on my own machine. But I can also click on PHP info, and I'd like to see this verbose output from the PHP server, showing that the PHP server is working appropriately and properly. To run my first PHP file, it's a good idea just to open up whatever your default text editor is. In Windows machines, there's always a notepad around, or any of the other different text editors that you choose to write your code in. I'm using Notepad, and I've pasted in some default code to test my PHP, which is just a normal Hello World script. Next to save. So, go File, and Save As. I then go to my C drive, if I haven't gone there already. Go to the MAMP folder, for a free version. HTDocs folder is the folder in which you're going to place your PHP files. Any folder or subfolder in this area is in the sub root of the actual server folder, and so therefore it will be found. I'm going to, I'm going to just save it in the HTDocs folder. So, change to all files, and I want to put in hello world.php, and the extension PHP is important for the PHP server to realize that it's something that it should execute. So name all of your PHP files with a PHP extension. Save that. My file is saved in the right place. I can then go back to localhost. So I'm going to go to my browser, whichever it is. Go back to just localhost in the address bar. Any of my PHP files or folders or subfolders will show up in the index of slash here. And to run that file, I just need to click on hello world on the link. And it runs the file. Seeing hello world will show that the PHP file is working and the PHP engine is executing it properly. And that's how to install and test MAMP on a Windows machine.